everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video which I was so excited to film today. This is a full face of products which changed my makeup game. So basically, as I was growing up, as I was learning how to do makeup, which primarily actually happened in front of the camera on YouTube, you guys have seen like the evolution of how I've changed and how I've done my makeup. But I have in my head a particular set of products which when I bought them and when I started using them, they really, in my opinion, changed how well I did my makeup and the skill that I managed to get from those products made my makeup look 10 times better. So these products hold a little place in my heart. They're kind of like my old favorites. They were all introduced to my makeup life um, in various different stages. Some when I was pretty young and just starting out and some I only discovered like last year and I've been obsessed with that style or that particular product ever since. I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you find this interesting. I've also included some brushes and tools which improved my makeup game and I've also included some like tips or life hacks that made my makeup game 10 times better as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you find it helpful. Please leave a thumbs up if you want to watch this video and you like this video idea and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll get into the video. Let's go. So we're going to start off with eyes because I want this makeup to look to be nice and neat and pretty. So starting off with eyes just makes my foundation not get ruined. So. The first product which I have to tell you about is this little one here. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer. Any pot concealer, really. It's not actually the product, even though this is the one I use. It's more just the idea of using a pot concealer all over your eyes. Just changed my game, basically. So I'm just going to use this on my eyelids. I feel like pot concealers, you can get a decent amount of coverage on the area that you want coverage to be and just makes things start off really nicely. Then before we move on to actually do eyeshadow I'm gonna do my second tip, life hack, trick, thing which changed my makeup game was using tape. This is what I started doing when I was in my last few years of high school and I swear my makeup went from zero to 100 real quick. So I'm going to use my tape today to show you guys that it just makes life so much easier. I guess once you get better at makeup you don't really need tape because you kind of just get a little bit neater with what you're doing. But there's nothing wrong with still using it and ensuring that nothing goes wrong. So I still use it to this day. I would highly recommend using it if you're somebody who needs a little bit of help or maybe you're in a rush and you just pop some tape on and things don't have to be so precise. Eyeshadow palette reveal which one changed my makeup game. I'm gonna go for, just because chronological order of palettes I got, this one was the one that I feel like made the most, most biggest difference in my makeup routine and it is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. There was palettes before this one but I feel like when I got this one I really took myself seriously and I really really made an effort to up my game with my makeup and you can see it's pretty well used. You can see I've liked it. This one I bought myself from Beauty Bay a couple years ago and from then on I just feel like I've really tried my best with my makeup. Also this was my first real like pink shade palette and I love pink shades so as soon as I got this I just kind of dove right in and loved it. So today I'm going to go for my usual go-to with this palette just because that's what I did when I was younger and that's what I loved. So taking this one, Bon Fresco, and doing a crease with this and this palette also just really introduced me to experimenting with different colours and also pushing myself outside of my comfort zone and going for a little bit more colourful and a little bit more creative on my eyes and I really loved experimenting and the fact that this palette had come out and it was quite kind of like mainstream, everyone was getting it, I was like, you know what, I can do pink if everyone else can do pink, so that's that. We're going to go in with 
This shade here, Red Ochre Mixed with Love Letter. Can you see those? I don't know. These two here. And pop these onto my outer third area. And just darkening this up. Um, I will go into certain brushes as well throughout this video, which particularly kind of changed how I did my makeup as well, but I'll mention them later on. We are not at that stage yet. I'm literally, this is giving me so many throwbacks because this is exactly how I did my makeup for like high school house parties and getting ready for people's like 18ths and stuff, which is so strange because now everyone like of my friends and stuff are basically all turning 21 now. I'm quite young, I'm not 21 yet, but like a lot of my friends are turning 21. Which is mad, I remember thinking, you know, like, the days of turning 21 and having 20th birthdays would just never come. Um, sorry, I'm just going back in with that pinky Bon Fresco shade and just using that to blend up. I've not actually done this makeup look in a whole minute because I've got so many other palettes. I never actually come back to this one very often, but I always take it with me. Like, when I go down to London, you'll be watching this when I'm in London. I'll have this palette with me 100%. I just take this wherever I go because I love it. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Cypress Umber and mixing it with Venetian Red. So a nice kind of dark purpley colour to go in the very outer corner. And this is the beauty of having tape. I can just blend into my tape and nobody cares. It's the best thing ever. The one thing about this palette which is kind of annoying, I've just learned to kind of get over is the fact that it is so crumbly, like you can kind of see how messy the palette is and you get a lot of fallout. So when you're doing your makeup, you really do need tape with this. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a hot mess. And then just blending out again. Tip number, don't know what number we're on, we just, are we just going through them now? Is, again, something which changed my makeup game. It is using the concealer which we previously used and putting it on my eyelids to create a base for where we're gonna put the glitter. This is the best thing ever. I swear I spent half my makeup childhood, let's call it, just packing on extreme amounts of shimmery eyeshadow and then as soon as I start using concealer like I'm doing now, honestly, I don't know what I've been doing wasting my time beforehand. It just changed everything. You don't need to do I don't usually do like a cut crease with this, I just kind of put it on and then blend it. If you just watch what I'm doing then you probably get a gist. But you can of course do like a really um, nice defined cut crease obviously with concealer. But I found that if I just place it on the centre of my lid, like so, around like halfway, and then I just grab my finger and kind of blend the edges and that way it just looks a little bit more blown out, a little bit more natural doesn't exactly look like you were trying to do a cut crease, it's just, it's just chilling there. This colour right here, we've already hit pan, I'm going to take this on this brush here, which I'm actually going to give a good mention to because this brush was my all-time favourite for a very long time. It is the EB11 brush, so I'm just going to use this and pack on this shadow onto the concealer to give us the best highlight you have ever seen in your life. And then I'm going to grab just a little bit smaller brush and take um, probably just Bon Fresco, dab it a little bit and then blend this section so it doesn't look like a weird extreme transition. Then I usually just grab the same highlight shade with the a little bit of the matte, pop this on my brow bone and again brow bone on this side. Then all I do is remove this tape, which is probably gonna hurt. Ah! And then we've got the sharp lines. Damn! Woohoo! Okay, moving on to an eyeliner which changed my game. This is my favorite eyeliner and still is, honestly. It is the, look who like used this is. It is the BAM, I can't read this anymore. It's like swing, swing eyeliner. It is the best eyeliner I've ever used. I find this the easiest to use and I love it. Okay, next product we're gonna move on to face and just let our eyes chill for a little bit. Face, 
primer. I'm going to be using this one here. I feel like I used a lot of mattifying primers for a very long time because I felt like that was what I had to do, that was normal. But turns out I've got quite dry skin, so mattifying primers are not my favourite. When I started using this one, this is the Bobbi Brown Face Base, it's more of like a moisturiser, it's got vitamins in it, and it just makes your skin feel so good underneath your makeup. So as soon as I started using this, I realised I've been doing it all wrong all this time. Moving on to foundation, a product which I'm going to mention in this video, even though I feel like it came quite late in my makeup life, but I do want to talk about it because I do feel like it really did make a big impact and it's from the drugstore so I feel like it's even more important to talk about. Does that make sense? So it is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour um, mattifying foundation. This actually isn't the greatest um, shade range in the world which really frustrates me but since I started using this, this stays on your skin so well and I can get a little bit sweaty with when I'm like in a club or something or throughout the daytime my makeup tends to kind of slide off my face but this stuff sticks so well so I'm mentioning it in this video and I'm going to use it in this video purely because this changed how well my foundation lasted on my skin I just felt like as soon as I started using this I actually had decent foundation for a decent amount of time on my face if you want something that's a little bit more higher end I would recommend the Bobbi, no, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation for an all day foundation. So I wanted to mention this product here because it was cheaper, it's probably a lot more accessible for you guys because I know that some of you may still be in school and not necessarily have a lot of income, like myself basically. So I just really wanted to mention this. It's not even like the greatest shade match to me, but I just feel like it stays so well on my skin and I'm so impressed the fact that it's really not that much money. Moving on to concealer, the concealer which I'm going to be talking about today is this one. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. This isn't actually a concealer which I reach for very often anymore purely because I've found other concealers which I like more or are more affordable. But if we are talking today about the products which really helped me step up my game, then this is realistically what did it. It is such a good coverage concealer. You obviously do have to do you know, a little bit of pennies for this because it's MAC and it's high end, but I was too busy using crappy concealers before this and as soon as I bought this and did the investment, I felt like my skin looked 10 times more flawless and I felt so much more confident and it really does a great job at brightening up your under eyes as well. What I'm going to use for powder because, I mean, I think this might change like everyone's makeup game when they start using this. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So I usually just tip it out onto the cap. It's actually running out which is really, really sad. But I just pop this underneath my eyes where, where I've put concealer. I just use a brush and dust this over my face because baking does waste a lot of it. Laura Mercier powder, definitely one of my favourites. There are loads now out there that you can get that are alternatives, that are just as good, but if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that one's what I got first, and that one's what really helped me change my game. Now for bronzer, blusher, and highlight. This little thing here is what changed my game when it came to bronzer and blusher. This is something, um, a little gift set which my sister actually got me for Christmas. It has four, no it has five of the Benefit blushers. It's got a What's Up highlight and it's got the Hula bronzer and for a very long time these were like my only high-end blushes and bronzers as well. So I just learned to love them. I think that personally the bronzer in particular is what I used to be obsessed over and what made my bronzer go from being orange and sparkly to a proper like good contour. So that's what I'm going to be using today. As I've said for a number of times throughout this video, this is not what my current favourites are. I have plenty of bronzers now that are cheaper, that are different brands that I absolutely love and would use over this. But this is what I got first and this is what I learnt to properly do a decent contour with, or in my opinion, do a decent contour with. And then for blusher, I'm just going to stick with the exact same little gift set here. And I'm going to be using this blusher here, because for a hell of a long time, this is all I used. 
and I really really liked it because it was quite natural and light like it wasn't anything too extreme because you know when I was younger my mum used to buy me like proper red blusher for like dancing shows or anything if any of you guys used to do dancing shows you'll remember that the blusher they used to put on you was so dark so this saved me and brought me from doing proper doll cheeks to just normal blusher. Just love this highlight, like honestly. As soon as I started using this, it gave me from like a reasonable normal highlight and then as soon as I started using this, we went for like extreme Instagram highlight. Also, I wanna mention this brush because this is something that actually really helped my highlight too. This is by Cicero, it's the L01 brush. These are like all vegan cruelty free brushes, but this brush in particular, really helped like my highlight game because you could get so much product on here and then you could just actually go to town with your highlight so that's exactly what I did. Brows, the product that changed my game 120% is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. This is actually no longer my favourite at all to the point where I'm actually probably not going to like it when it goes in my face but to be realistic, this is what I started using when I eventually plucked up the money and bought this when I was in America and from then on I've rarely ever gone back to pencils when I'm trying to do like a full face night out makeup. If you've not tried a pomade yet then go and get yourself one, you can get cheap ones now because they make your life so much easier. This is such a trip down memory lane. Now all I've got to do is I've just got to get my Anastasia palette back and I'm just going to kind of do a little bit along my waterline because currently there's nothing really going on underneath so I'm just going to do that quickly. Another thing for the eyes before we move on which changed my game. I remember doing this when I was 16 and I remember just thinking like whoa this looks insane and I just thought I'm never going back from now on and that is lining my lower lash line with gel liner and previously I'd done it with pencil but the pencils which I've been using weren't that good like now I've got some good pencils which I usually stick for but I use gel for like a one-off I think I must have like maybe forgotten my pencil or something I thought oh we'll, we'll just DIY with a little bit of gel this one which is the one which I used is by Maybelline in the shade number one black. Popping this on my lower lash line and I remember I used to take it pretty close in like I used to take it right into here and I just loved it like I just loved it. So there we go now I'm gonna do my lashes and this is the set of lashes which I have never really gone back from and are the easiest lashes like I struggled with lashes for so long and then got my hands on these I've bought maybe like seven or eight packets since and they're the best lashes I've ever used so if you want to use these during the day then you totally can and I just feel like these lashes as a beginner were what really saved me and what really taught me how to do lashes well they're really really easy to use so I'm just gonna pop these on. Okay, eyelashes are on. Now just to finish off with lips, the two products which were like my little combo that I thought looked so good at the time and I still do really, really like. So this little product here, this is the Maybelline Velvet Beige in the shade 360. It's just like a really basic nude and I got obsessed with it and I used it all the time. And then on top, I used to always use this little product here, which was something which I had stored in the back of my makeup collection, but I love this combination. So this is just a mint flavored like lip gloss. It's a clear lip gloss. I used to put this over the top and this combination of like glossy nude lips was something that I went for and I loved. So I'm gonna use this little combination today because that's what introduced me to my love of nude glossy lips. Actually, now that I come to use this again, it kind of reminds me of a bit of like a granny colour, but at the time I loved this. And then I just used to get the lip gloss, put a little bit on my finger, and then I just dab this like in the centre, and then blend out, like it made my lips so glossy. 
So those were all my products, tips and life hacks which changed my makeup game and made it a hundred times better than it was previously. As I've already mentioned throughout this video, there are now a bunch of products which I love, favourites which I have, that I've built from finding those other products which I've talked about today. If you'd like, like an updated favourites video or an updated um, like going out makeup routine then I can totally do this because as I was talking about this is kind of what I did when I was in like high school but I hope you find this video helpful if you have any video ideas or anything you want to chat to me about then please leave them down in the comments leave a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already also and I'll see you soon in my next video bye guys <laughs>